Welcome back to Two Brothers Comics. I'm Dustin, and today I'm going to do something I've never done before. I'm going to open up my very first mystery box. If you're interested in seeing how this goes, hit the like button while the intro plays and stay tuned. Right now, we have our 2,500 subscriber giveaway going on. If you're interested in seeing how you can enter and one of the prizes you can win, stay tuned to the end of the video for those details. Now, mystery boxes are something that has become a huge part of collecting. A lot of people really love them. Some people like me aren't interested at all. Uh, if I'm gonna spend my money, I wanna know exactly what I'm spending it on. I wanna know what I'm getting in return. So the mystery box thing has never really been uh, interesting to me. Uh, it's never something that's really caught my interest or, or any of that. But there is one that had a guaranteed cover inside that I wanted. Uh, it was actually one of two covers. There was a, a virgin cover or a trade dress. Of course, I want the virgin cover, but I'm talking about the Comic Tom mystery mail call. So let's get this thing opened up and see if I got what I wanted. All right, so we're going to hold on to the mailers. Uh, these are the best way to ship comic books out, and uh, they're always recyclable. So make sure that you always hold on to these because this is the only way you should be shipping comic books out. All right, so let's see what we got in here. We have this, this awesome little uh, Wolverine print here by uh, Aqua Mini Arts, I think is what it says. And on the back, it's got the November, November mystery mail call information. So... You have the 1700 trade dress, 1300 virgins on the Power Rangers cover, 1 in 600 on the Shang-Chi and Phantom Starkiller, and uh, 50 going out of a Brutality, Gods of Brutality Ashcan exclusive. So uh, just some information on, on all the stuff that he's throwing out. So let's see what we got in here. So first off, we have Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man issue number 12. You know me, I'm a huge Spider-Man fan, so that just tickles me to death. Uh, this is a cool Deathstroke cover for Deathstroke 49. That's pretty cool. Wolverine and the X-Men Alpha and Omega, number 5. This is cool. Once in Future, issue number 2. This is a series I keep up with, I enjoy. I have this issue, but no big deal. Uh, it's pretty cool. Looks really good. Nice, clean cover. Uh, this is the... Uh, pink ranger print womp womp uh, they did have a lord zed print that actually would have been cool to get but you know you know how it goes uh, whatever you want you're probably going to get the opposite uh, this is uh, so you got Catwoman breathing out some bats so that's kind of neat um, this one was 333 of 1300 this one is twelve ninety four of twenty five hundred, so that's kind of cool. I don't know if it goes like that or if it goes like this. I would assume that's the way it goes, but so it looks like I did get the one in six hundred Shang Chi number one variant. It's all right. It's all right. And of course, of course, I got the trade dress. Dad gum it. Uh, I mean, this is a great cover. Um, I mean, it really, really is detailed very well whether you like power rangers or not um this cover does have an extremely uh an extremely detailed uh or art, art to it i mean it is is every stitch every seam in the suit um chips in the in the shield in the helmet um this this guy did a great great job designing this cover uh, a lot of detail in there um i'll see if i can throw up something to give you guys a little bit better uh view of this but uh yeah you know i was wanting the virgin cover i got the trade dress so what are you gonna do as bueller would say what are you gonna do nothing not gonna do anything um so yeah i mean this is my very first ever mitch mystery box purchase will i purchase another one no probably not um unless something else like this pops up where it's something i know okay i want that i think the one for december is like a peach momoko turtles one so i canceled the box subscription immediately immediately uh there's no way i want to uh spend another 40 dollars um on a mystery box and uh get a peach momoko turtles cover so um but you know 
we'll, we'll see. Uh, I'm not like feeling all fuzzy and tingly inside over my very first mystery box. Um, you know, I got I got the cover I wanted, uh, regardless if it was a trade dress or a virgin set. This was the only reason I purchased this box. So, um, you know, I don't know what these are going for. Uh, so as far as dollar value, I don't know, you know, what I'm sitting at right here. But, uh, you know, regardless, when you, when you buy a mystery box, like, you know what you're doing. So it, it's a gamble. So, uh, you know, I'm not mad about it, but I'm also not like, oh, my God, I can't wait to get the next mystery box. So let me know in the comments, guys. What do you think about the mystery box here? Do you think it was worth the $40 that I paid for it? Uh, was there anything in here that you saw that you liked? And uh, let me know, what are your thoughts on mystery boxes? Do you like them? Do you dislike them? I'm interested to hear your thoughts. Please hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please, we would love for you to do that. And again, stay tuned for the details on our 2,500 subscriber giveaway. Guys, as always, collect your way. To enter our 2,500 subscriber giveaway, all you have to do is like, comment, and share this video. Subscribe if you aren't already. This is one of the three prizes we're gonna be giving away brought to you by Mad Cave Studios with the show's end number one, Honor and Curse, one of the best books around, Knights of the Golden Sun, and Battle Cats number one. Also from TKO Studios, Sentient by Jeff Lemire. Wonderful read, and if you use the code BROTHERS20 on their site, you get 20% off all purchases. And then also one of the BCW Supplies showcases, beautiful way to display your comics, but that's not all. And this is just one of three uh, giveaway items. Now, we have all, most, all of the Timeless Variants, and this is brought to them by who, Dustin? Back-to-back -back comics of Marietta, Georgia donated these. Make sure if you're in the area of Marietta, Georgia, look them up and go check them out. They gave you guys all of these Timeless Variants. There's only a few missing from a complete set here. This is an awesome prize. Now, this is all one prize together. We're going to cover the shipping, U.S. only. Make sure you guys comment in the video, hit the like button, share it out, and if you're not subscribed, make sure you are.